Welcome back to the show, you guys. And now it is time for Back to Black, where we highlight a feature guest making strides in the black community and for the future. Today's guest is a nationally acclaimed actor, known for his roles in Queen of the South, Atlanta, as well as feature films. He went on to create an award-winning production company, Detour Entertainment. Let's take a quick look at some of his work. How's work? Have you heard of the sentencing software Evaluate? It's amazing. Amazing? Groundbreaking and revolutionary also apply. The algorithm is biased. An algorithm isn't biased. That's definitively the point why it's a good thing. It sentences blacks and Latinos disproportionately to whites for the same crimes. So do judges, right? This algorithm is an improvement. It's a check on an already flawed system. My client's looking at more time than he should. More time than you think he should. You see? There. That's bias. I didn't come here to debate this. Then why you. did you come here? For the first time ever? To ask a favor. I need you to look at that software. Look at the coding. So you can discredit it. So I can do what's right by my client. Interesting tact when asking a favor. To insult what I do. But that's what you do. Whatever you want. You guys, please welcome to our show the very talented Mr. Chris Green. Hey. Chris, thank you, thank, thank you. you for coming on the show. Thank you for having Come me. On. Thank you for having so me. that clip was from it. your your show for the people. How how is that going? <clears throat> well, that was cool actually. So uh, that was Shonda Rhimes' last show. Okay. Before mm. she went to uh, Netflix, so it ran for a full season. And then, unfortunately, they didn't come back for season two. But I think uh. it was because Shonda was was gone. But that was um, an amazing experience. It was Shonda. She writes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm very very well yeah mm -hmm. so you don't really have room to improv you got to go in there and you got to know the dialogue and if you don't know it they're going to run it back no 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 no. say uh, it like it's written very so it's very wordy, wordy as you can see like you know obviously Grey's Anatomy is the right. big one everyone knows mm -hmm. um so you know it's it's one of those things where when you go in you just got to be prepared and then usually the actors will be on mm -hmm. point we rehearse quite a bit yeah right and then you can see like in the scene you just feed off of each other so okay. it's, it's, it's amazing i, I love, love it like like love the like the energy we have we feed off feed each other right right i know <laughs> i'm a feed now let's get it let's, let's get a little wait 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 let's get a little personal okay <laughs> so let's get to oh, it man. so your daughter she yes. first of all she's absolutely Adorable. Thank you. Her Thank name you. is Zoe. You named yeah. her after the actress. Yeah, uh, Zoe. Yeah, actually, yeah. so we put a little accent on it, but um, I always had a little thing for Zoe Saldana. You know, just as Ooh. a performer and a philanthropist. You know, uh, I mean, you know, she's easy on the eyes too. So you know, she's married. <laughs> yeah, she's she married is. She now, is. but, no, no, but you know, that, that's <laughs> that's, that's, that's a Hollywood marriage. We never <laughs> yeah, know what yeah, happened. Yeah, no, no, we're going. Yeah, we're not going full with that. But um, but no, it's it's uh -huh. it's um. She's obviously, you know, I'm a girl dad. So that's good. You, know, you, oh, can, that's see, you can see the so little cute. little grays. I don't know if y'all see them. Right <laughs> my daughter. It's um, not that noticeable. Oh, yeah, okay. But she is going into acting as Correct. well. Correct. I mean, Correct. how do you feel about that? Are you coaching her? No, actually, man, I I literally don't. I think with kids, it's kind of mm -hmm. let kids be kids, you yeah. know, because most of the stuff she's getting, obviously, I'm very conscious of right. and being in the industry. I don't want her doing anything crazy. Okay. So she typically sticks to commercials or like, you know, kid that's friendly good. TV. Okay. That's and good. usually it's just them being kids. So I'm like, baby, just pretend like when you're at home. And she's like, oh, okay, daddy, cool. And she'll oh. do it. And she's very good with her lines. I wish I had her memory. Wow. She'll look at sides. Okay, That's daddy, I'm ready. Young. I'm like, ain't, yeah. no, ain't wow. no way she ready. Yeah. And she'll have it. And I'm like, me, like three days later, I'm like, man. <laughs> and she has the cutest little pose. Yeah. Oh, yes. That's in her, her mama. Photos. That's her mama. Her mother, her mother used to model. We met in college. Nice. Her mother used to model, so that she gets that because daddy can't do that stuff. <laughs> oh, so you like the models. Uh, it's, 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 I'm just saying. Go, go ahead. Go. All right. That's okay. this bad business, okay. man. Okay. I so, mean, Chris, what you have to deal with? This what you have to deal with? On the we need house. a little <laughs> juice. We need a little juice. Oh, yeah. my God. So, yeah. Chris, I know that not only are you an actor, you're a director and a producer as right. well. Do you enjoy being in front of the camera more or behind the camera more, and why? Uh, um... I'm finding that as the more I'm in the industry, I like directing. I like working with actors. Mm. Okay. But only because it depends on who's directing me. Okay. You know, I've gotten wow. to a point in my career where it's like I I know myself well enough and I know how to develop the character well enough to where it's when you have a director that's micromanaging, mm -hmm. it, it takes the fun out of acting. Ah, um, gotcha. But you get those directors who are like, you know, a John Lee Hancock or a... Uh, um, you know, somebody like uh, Nate Parker, who's, you know, was an actor. Mm -hmm. right. So they basically will let you go with it. It's like, no, nah, that was good. Let me mm -hmm. give me something else. Give me something else. And mm -hmm. then it's just more of the technical stuff. Okay. But when you're working with actors and directing, you get to see the whole picture. Right. Okay. Not just your, your role. Right. So right. you get to go in and you get to, 
you know, create this world. And then it's almost like, you know, and not mm. to sound like, you know, condescending or anything, but it's almost like they're, they're chess pieces. And your right. goal is to win the game, so you're strategically placing this actor here. Now do this, now do this, and yeah. put the light here, and do all that. Right. Yeah. And and when you see the finished product, you're like, man, yeah, see, this is cool. I can do Because right. you, you speak the same language. Right, so right, right. So it makes sense. Yeah. Right. So besides me, <laughs> besides me, what what other actors do you want to work with? You know, everyone has you their list. You know you at the top wanna, of the list. I know I am. Come on, kids. Wow, you know you at the top of the list. Look out. I'm she coming. You're at the top of the list, guys. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> so who, you know, who do you want to work with? Who is your dream? Uh, obviously, you know, the GOAT. I mean, Denzel's amazing. And we're from the same area. We're both from Alverna, New York. So, right. okay. um, but I think he's getting on up there and he's starting to direct way more. Okay. Yeah. So, I think he might be unfortunately retiring soon. So. You yeah. think so? I mean, I don't he's think so. he's he's done everything. No. He's done an interview where he's literally said, I've, I've, and it's true, he's won literally as far as a performer every mm -hmm. award every you award. can win. Yeah. So it's at that point, it's kind of like what else? What and he's else pushing his son now too. Yeah. So yeah. Right, it's right. like handsing over the baton. Right. Well, I think I think his yeah. daughter as well. I think she works behind the scenes. She's also in the film industry. So right. He's kind of at this point. What else can Denzel achieve? You know, mm -hmm. he loves being on stage, which I wouldn't yeah. mind being on stage with him either. So I'm hoping he doesn't, you know, hang around for a little bit. <laughs> he needs to because he's on my list. Yes, <laughs> yes. So um, in this last film, you can tell he started to do more plays like he did um, uh, King Lear. Um, yeah. Big, big, no, Macbeth, excuse me. Macbeth. Macbeth. Mm -hmm. um, he did King Lear on stage, but he did Macbeth for um, Apple TV. And, you know, a lot of people watched it, and even people that don't know anything about theater mm. enjoyed it. Yeah. But it's Denzel. I mean, you know, Francis McDormand, like, you can't go wrong with these people. You can't go right. wrong with these So he's on the list. Um, Helen Mirren, Mel Street, Viola, obviously. I'm a little just because I know some, some actor buddies of mine who have gotten to work with Viola. And when I talk to them, they're like, it was dope. I'm like, you know what? Y'all don't talk to me no more. Matter of fact, I'm blocking you on social media. <laughs> I don't want to see the pictures. Uh, she's, I hear, she's just... You have no choice but to elevate your game. Like the yeah. moment she steps yeah. onto a set, her presence is just that mm. strong, and it's just like let me go ahead and go over these lines again <laughs> real quick. Get it right. Yeah. yeah. So uh, you know, those are those are a few. Um, you know, Will just for the sense of working with Will, sense of everything he touches is gold as far as box office. Yeah. So you know, if you're going to be on the set with him, it's going to be fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I would love to to do that, and you know, but people sleep on the chops too. I mean, he did every biopic he plays in. He embodies it. He, he, well, he gets nominated. Yeah. So it's just like, obviously, he's doing something right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But obviously, most people know him for, like, the, you know, the Men in Blacks and the Bad Boys and stuff like that. Yeah. So that would be fun. But there's a whole laundry list. I'm happy to work with any actor who's, you know, passionate about the craft and, and right. going to do their thing. So. Well, we got one right here that's trying to get on the scene. I, listen, I'm telling you. <laughs> Every day, all day. So. You heard it here first, you guys. But we you gotta next take... too. Uh, we gotta bring you on. Oh, too. please bring me yeah. on because I need oh, to get. Wait, I'm trying to get into the game. He's sat up now. We were close, but he said, "Okay." <laughs> he sat up. He sat up. Hey, he do, he do his little. Well, y'all you know. heard it here first. I'm gonna make my acting debut. But we gotta take a short break, you guys. We'll be right back with more with Chris Green. We are back with actor Chris Green. In case you missed it and you're sleeping in the world, he is best known for his role on Queen of South, Faith Under Fire, Dynasty, Vampire Diaries, and Being Mary Jane. Mm -hmm. All that. So it's great having the conversation with you. So we talked about acting. Yeah, that's you. Uh, yeah, you do you want to look at no, it again? I don't, I that's don't, you. Actually, I mean, he wants to make sure that's him. It's okay. <laughs> So, you know, you have a production company, mm -hmm. Detour Entertainment. Correct. So you've done all this acting, you're accomplished. Mm -hmm. Why build your own entertainment company? What was the goal of that? Uh, telling stories. That's mm -hmm. it. As an actor, we get to tell stories all the time. And then obviously sometimes they're not stories that we necessarily want to tell. Right. But, you know, you want to come up, so you have to do it. Um, when you get to a certain point, then it becomes, okay, I want to tell stories that I'm familiar with, that I resonate with, and hopefully it reach other people. And mm. when you have your own production company, you kind of have a little bit more, you know, clout or a little bit more pull to go, no, nah, I want to work on this script or I want to hire That's this writer, good. I want to do that. Yeah. And so that was the main the main focus of it is just to do that and, and be that simple in the sense of just telling the story. Just yeah. owning owning it yourself. Exactly. That exactly, makes sense. Exactly. Yeah. That makes sense. Now, speaking of telling stories, you played a pretty diverse range of mm -hmm. characters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Walk us through the process of preparing for a role. 
Uh, I essentially will, well, the first and foremost thing, and, and I teach my students this too, is also you can't judge anything that you're going to play. Mm -hmm. oh. Because then obviously morally we may look at it and go, I'll never be a criminal, I'll never be this. Right. But you don't know the mindset of somebody until they're in a particular situation. Right. Uh, so what I typically like to do to get me in the mood is I have a musical background. You know, I've been playing drums since I was little. So I always, that always for some reason affects me. And music affects mm. us in so many different ways. Mm -hmm. So if I get a role like for Queen of the South, for example, you know, Bobby's character was the right hand to, uh, you know, uh, a big distributor of narcotics in, in uh, Louisiana. Mm -hmm. So he was, you know, he had an arrogance about it. He had an air about him and he couldn't be touched. We're running mm -hmm. a multi-million dollar operation. Mm -hmm. So for me, it was a lot of, you know, GZ, TI, Jay-Z, you know, uh, just popping that in the playlist wow. and getting in that mindset while I'm going over my lines. And that typically will help me, you know, lock them down, get into the swag, mm -hmm. and then go do what I got to do. So That's it's always the music that first. That's yeah, interesting. I wouldn't have thought of that. Jay-Z, you're going to come out sound like ho. <laughs> 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 that, that, that was, that was you going to come out talking about... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my, right, that's my, that's my Jay-Z cut up. I, okay. So, you know, in your in your coaching, I read something I thought that it struck a nerve with me. Not a nerve, but I think it's interesting. So you find it important for actors to maintain a positive image. Right. Why is that? Because we see so many cutting up on social media. Mm -hmm. Why is that important to you? Because they look at it. Look, I mean, social media has become a thing where, you know, it gives you access to everybody. And, you know, yeah. I'm not perfect. I've had my, my moments on there where something's frustrated me and I've had to just let people know, like, you guys really getting down with this? Like, what's going yeah. on? Mm -hmm. What you have to understand is back in the day, it was easy for people to separate actors from their characters because there was this mystique, right? Mm -hmm. Ambiguity. You never really saw them. Oh, yeah. Social media, now you see everybody. So people will start to blend the two. Mm -hmm. So if you're cutting up in one particular way and then they start uh, judging your, your art per se, like, you know, uh, um, this whole, you know, Kanye situation, break that up. It's right. like, yeah. Kanye, people love his music, but because of what he's doing on social media now, people are starting to go, I don't want to listen to that. Oh, okay. Okay. And it's unfortunate because he, he's a genius when it comes to his skill set. Yeah. But his personal life, unfortunately, is having an effect. So that's why I tell actors, I'm like, you know, so much of your personal life doesn't need to be on there. Yeah, people need to yeah. see you having fun and mm -hmm. see you do stuff outside of work. But your problems can can stay, you know, keep them at home, man, work them so out. So people advice. don't know how to separate the art from right. the artist. Right, that's right. Good. And, and that's, that's unfortunate in this industry because it happens all the time. I mean, we see people who, you know, do something off, off camera, off screen, and mm -hmm. then all of a sudden, you know, it's like, well, that's who they are. Yeah. It's just like, yeah. don't watch their stuff. And yeah. like, no, that's not how that works. Mm -hmm. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's Makes perfect. Sense. Now, you spoke earlier as being a director, and your actors are kind of like your chess pieces. But mm -hmm. as a director, what is the biggest challenge in bringing a script to life? Producing. Yeah. Producing, oh. producing, producing. That's okay. the hardest part is to getting somebody to invest in your idea uh, or somebody else's money. idea. The, the money. The money. Always the money. <laughs> yes. Always the money. So to go to someone and go, we need X amount of dollars for this project, yeah. and you know, you're going to get your return on investment. It may be a while. Uh, Most money people okay. are going to be like, uh, what's a while, like two years? Yeah. Like, no, I need this tomorrow, you know? Yeah. yeah. So that's the hard part. But as a producer, when you put all the pieces together and go, we have this actor, we have this director, uh, we have, you know, this hair and makeup team, we have these people that have gotten awards and recognition, mm -hmm. then they mm -hmm. will go, oh, well, I saw that film and I loved it. Well, that's this is good. what you're going to get. Okay. And that's, that's how that, good. you know, works. So. so I'm giving you 10 seconds uh -oh. to talk to the people out <laughs> uh -oh. there that want to become actors. What is the best advice you can give to an aspiring? An actor right now words are your weapons read 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 that's the best thing you can do read as much as possible because storytelling involves words and words from the beginning of time mm -hmm. have always been on paper have been on walls whatever so read as much as you can and go live life well look you there you it, have it i'm about to read because I'm, I'm he's gonna run me my lines as soon as we get off of <laughs> this, this. Is true. she's getting the coaching <laughs> lesson right after yeah I'm going to read everything, just like we're reading all your emails, your social media posts, everything that you put, all the smiley faces. Connect with us. Stay with us. Where can the people reach us? You can find us on at Candice and Chris Live. Well, there you have it. Thank you, Chris. Thank you guys for coming on the show. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. We got to go, guys. See you guys next time.